check. He says playing on Tuesday and Thursday. Rude. Ah, th there's a week gap between the two. That's fine. Uh, when's the next cut? The fourth of March. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that. The R9 fruit is is it? Let's have a look. Oh, an Aldo. He's a scout in this in this world. Uh let's have a look. Who will I be who will his randomly assigned manager be? Uh, this is who he will be given. He will be given Lopetegui. Is that how you spell it? Uh, Lopetegui? Morning, Mike. How do? How do? Oh. Uh. Admin didn't get done for yesterday's stream, did it? I'm just gonna like do manage or admin weird. Well, it was a cup stream there, wasn't it? So it doesn't actually matter. So I can just sack him now. Uh, let's do that. Managers. Uh, not his current job. Dead. Update. Pettigree. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Congratulations.
there we have it. Lopetegui officially the Manx manager. Move to other club. Manx. Okay. Hello? There we go. Uh, Tiki Taka Taka should have. It's a league. It's a league week, so I assume so. I don't know how far into the week we'll get. <coughs> uh, we should get to you. Oh, you get to pl you get to play against Lopetegui. If we get that far, we should get that far. So the game nine. I guess we are running a bit late. Thanks to all the admin. <laughs> I have to start keeping an eye out for kids as well soon. From Cub. <laughs> well, I gave them <coughs> the worst performing manager on the website that's available, right? I looked at all the managers at the bottom of the list in terms of wins, and then which ones have played the most games. One win in 12, pretty fucking shit. So. R9 has one more games. Not a great start for the kids. Can KCC lock up the title today? No. They can't. But it's uh getting close. We're at we could be at the they need to drop two points per game. Which is really fucking hard. <laughs> oh! Ricky! That was an insane ball, that from Damson. Oh, Nuno at left back, cheeky. Hello, Remco. Today sounds good to me. Look, there's a reason he's called Parcelini, not Shootalini. Oh! Banana skin! Get your bananas out! Uh, let's not do that, actually. There, there are many better ways I could have phrased that. Uh, I'm good, Remco. Tired. Working nights this week. Um, but I'll find it's good. Go on, Ricky. Go on! Uh, Peru's finest. Unable to get to the loose ball there. Uh, 
Uh oh. Go on. Go on, Norm. Go on, lad. Go on. What a ball. Oh! <laughs> Referees! <laughs> oh! That pass and finish was sublime. Look at this! The Pythons are absolutely battering them. 100% they're going to lose now. Oh, Ulysses! No pen! Love that. Love that. Come on! Come on! Okay, okay, let's not phrase like, come on the kids. Uh, here we go. Ricky. No one in support. He doesn't need anyone! He's going all the way! Oh, he can't fucking shoot today. Ricky shooting hasn't been good. Even his goal was a massive deflection. Oh. Here we go. Here we go, Damson. <laughs> what happened? Hello? Damson, what happened there? And now he's been sent off. But it wasn't finishing, right? He just kind of lost the ball. Like, he didn't do it. It, it was just really odd. KCC escape with a point against 10 children. What a weird sentence. You had XG of over 2. I don't know if it's unlucky or just Ricky wasn't very good today. Ricky had a bad day and it really cost you. So I guess you are unlucky that Ricky chose today to have a bad day. Also true. Yeah, thinking about it, you are unlucky. You were definitely unlucky. You were definitely the better side and deserved to win. So I guess just based on that alone, not winning, you're unlucky. Yeah, exactly. It's like uh, sur Surreal versus Shates, right? Like, Ruben Castro is shit all the time. He picked... The one time he decided to not be shit, he timed it well. Oh? Oh! Messi just skipping past challenges there. Uh, Remco, you have played previously in the season, correct? Yes. Th you've played... Some games, uh, this stream, no, that was the first game of the stream. I was referencing a, a, a game that happened earlier in the season. <laughs> oh dear. That was tight. That was tight. <laughs> and as a punishment for mistiming that run, Colo Moani's instantly hauled off and replaced with Alexi Sanchez. A striker who's about as good as Abdul and Markel. He probably has similar 
PA and CA as both of them. <laughs> B's obviously on the way down, not the way up. Oh. Oh. That pass was deflected, but landed directly at Gomez's feet, which does make me wonder, where was the pass meant to be going? This feels like a weird kick clash, and I'm not really, like... If you told me orange and green versus black and red. I wouldn't have thought it was a kick clash. But it really is. I don't like it. Just me? Oh! Don't save those. Should you save those though? Tight angle across your body. That feels like something you should be able to get a hand on. I don't know. Uh. Bono? Wow, uh, not great goalkeeping there. Manchester have to win if they want to maintain any of those false hopes of sneaking this title away from KCC at the death. They can't afford shit like this. Oh! How hard did he kick that? Holy shit! That crossbar's still ringing. Wow. So, KCC have one point in their last two games. And Manchester have managed to capitalise by getting one point in their last two games. It is not ideal. KCC trying desperately to give us a title race. Manchester just straight up refusing to join it. All eyes on the SS. The, an SS win puts them five points back with five to play. That's doable. Have they already played each other?
Where's Lincoln? I've not spotted him yet. I assume left back. So he's been of late. Oh, Morata. Oh, no. What is it with KCT beat Shola 4 0? Jesus. Uh, does make it harder, for sure, to pull back five points in five games. Well, six points, I guess. If we work under the assumption that head to head will be the first tiebreaker, which it almost certainly will. Lincoln at left back, indeed. Not a good day for goalkeepers in this one. Ross Barkley running powerfully through the middle, couldn't get onto the loose ball. But oh, oh, ho, ho. what a season! Ross Barkley's having. Is this his best ever goal tally? The real boy. Having a bit of a... A late... Six, according to that. Yeah, that's his sixth league goal. He's basically Kovacic. Oh. Go on, Ross. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Has Ross Barkley scored more goals than Ansu Fati? And Jude Bellingham this season. Where's he playing now? Because if you tell me he's playing like... No, he's playing in France. Oh no. Nick Pope. So, right, we need to elect a new Pope. Oh my god, Ross Barkley. <laughs> Love that Ross Barkley in season four of The Real Boy is showing, <laughs> is popping off harder than Fatty and Bellingham. Oh, I love it so much. It's so good. <laughs> you say evening mate but uh, I feel like you're going to be very sad when you hear some of the things that have happened oh 22 months what's the best Mate just played this game before. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean Jude is there to assist? The man's got no vision. He can't. He can't assist. He doesn't take free kicks and he's got no vision. Terrible drafting expecting Jude Bellingham to pop up with assists. Oh, Kovacic almost grabbed one there. Oh. He's on like three, isn't he? I thought there was... I really thought this was going to be the year.
Exactly, mate. He's not creative enough. Oh! Jonathan David! Oh! Jonathan David has scored this season, right? So Jonathan David... I love that on one side you've got Ansu Fati and Jude Bellingham, both started incredibly hot. And... were great in the first couple seasons. Seem to be struggling in season four. And then on the flip side, you've got Ross Barkley and Jonathan David both having their best ever seasons. Um, no, Ralu just made it think, wanting it to be like the Brazil kit because that's like the only thing she knows. So she, she tends to give at least one team yellow and green because she's like... Like Brazil. Um, we've not. I've not got the heart to tell her that Brazil generally play in yellow and blue, not yellow and green. Uh, because I also like it because it's Norwich. I did tell her about the Pookie Norwich connection, and she just kind of shrugged it. She didn't, she didn't seem to care. Oh, oh. The number one Marcus. Oh, I didn't post the link. Classic Reese. <laughs> Yet. I'm excited to see what Norwich look like in the next few games because obviously we've got we just got battered by Burnley but everyone gets battered by Burnley so I ain't too worried about it I'm excited to see what this Marquinhos lad's like I don't know how I feel about the Brazilian flair arriving in Norwich with him and Sara. <laughs> but if we go back to the performances we were getting in the first two Wagner games, we got a shot at, at getting promoted again. Although I kept I kept seeing the lineups tweeted, and I, I couldn't work out what he was playing formation wise. So I, I checked it on Google, right? I checked it on Google, and their lineup has Josh Sargent playing centre mid in a flying V. And it's really fucking confused me. But it's not helped, because I still haven't worked out what the lineup is. Like, I guess we're still playing Sergeant on the wing. I guess. But I still can't work out who he's playing at centre mid. I feel like we've just only got attackers. Attacking midfields, like strikers and wingers. And I can't work out who he's playing on, at centre mid. Bugging me. 
My knowledge of the Norwich squad clearly not good enough to work out who's playing centre mid. So what I'm saying, whatever, is next weekend you're going to have to watch the championship version of Match of the Day and let me know who's playing centre mid for Norwich. Because for the life of me, I can't work it out. Oh, yeah, I guess you could. That That's prob that's actually a better idea. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that. Because he's never like the same start in 11 every, every game. So you'll only have to check one. Oh, a diamond? Wait, but that makes even less sense, because where the fuck's O'Neill Hernandez playing in a diamond? Is he playing O'Neill Hernandez at Cam? In behind Pookie and Sergeant? Man, I'm so fucking confused! And then, what, Kieran Dowell at centre mid? My confusion is, I don't see how you fit Dowell, Hernandez, Sergeant, and Pookie on the pitch at the same time. I just don't see it. You must be playing Kieran Dowell at centre mid. With Sarah. Right? That, that's who's been starting. <laughs> Ramley does say that to me all the time. Something happens, I'm so confused. Like, you're always bloody confused. The diamond kind of makes sense because it gives us two strikers. And there was this big push to stop playing Sergeant as a winger. But wasn't it the same 11? <laughs> oh. ah! See? So, is Sergeant just playing centre mid in the V? Is that a thing? I need to start watching the games. I need to I need to find out if Josh Sergeant has been playing centre mid for Norwich. Because if that's been happening and I've missed out, I'm not going to be happy. He's basically Abdul Boateng. Like, Sergeant at centre mid makes sense, because I can fit all of the other players in if Sergeant is the one playing centre mid. Oh! oh. <laughs> KCC are gonna. <laughs> KCC are just gonna stumble over the line, completely uncontested, despite not winning any of the last seven games. That is a great goal, though. Oh! Oh.
how would you describe Line of Duty, Doctor Who, and Luther? I'd describe them as a BBC show. <laughs> Got him. I really hope all those. Will, I, it's been so long since I've watched TV. I had to guess that they're all BBC shows. I hope. I hope they are. Pretty sure they are. What is this? Norwich versus Burnley. Wait, wait. So he he just <laughs> he played Odell Hernandez and Kira Dowell at centre mid. So confused. <laughs> oh. Fixtures. Fixtures by composition. That went in. That went in. Just so we're clear. <laughs> so, the conversion from the 4 2, the, f the flying V to the diamond was to take the two wingers, put them at centre mid, and take the two centre mids and put them at cam and striker. What? What is Wagner doing? Ah, a wide diamond makes sense, right? Left and right mid. Yeah, yeah, that works. Wide diamond makes sense. Oh! Mage, buying a new house. That's exciting. Oh! <laughs> Is it a fort in Wales that you've bought? <laughs> Tell them to knock a couple grand off and you're throwing a couple packets of crisps. Well, uh, congrats to KCC, I guess. Because no one wants to actually contest them. Okay. Okay. Go down. Score. He's in. What is wrong with goalkeepers today? Mate. Jesus. Houses are expensive. They don't really have much a house costs. Fuck. <laughs> Whew. Oh! What? That's 
absolutely fuck. Why aren't we just buying the fort in Wales? <laughs> yeah, but all the money you lot are saving can't be that expensive to renovate. I think there's a good deal on any wood we need to buy. A long commute. <laughs> bosh what bosh. Let's not lie to people, Frank. BBC, uh... BBC don't have a shot. Aren't BBC basically mathematically eliminated? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Alexi. Well, he's also here to steal everyone's lunch money, apparently. It's on a clinic. I'm excited to see how Franca handles the transition from drafting against a bunch of gimmick teams to everyone, I say everyone, more people trying to draft good teams next season. If we end up with 25 players all drafting good, or at least trying drafting to win, 24 teams in Hadley I guess, absolute carnage is what I envisage. Why are you doing a gimmick? It's the first season of the cycle. It's a it's a clean slate. It's a good time for everyone to go for it. Yeah, to be fair, Mike also went gimmick early, strongly. And it weirdly, it paid off at the wrong time. <laughs> oh yeah, so Franka, you get to choose exactly what spot of the draft you want. Which probably has changed, because it used to be, I was a big believer of... I, I was a big believer of you pick late but now I'm not sure
Yeah. If you do the double, you pick yours and someone else's, which is, which is the dream. You can pick someone slow and slap them on the wheel. <laughs> Agreed, mate. When you were keeping a player who was a couple... There was generally someone who slipped out of the first round that shouldn't, and you just locked them up for a cycle. Now, it's... Oh, well... <coughs> there's a handful of round two players that are just forced into round one. Yeah. Fuck that guy. Dickhead. Yeah. I... Because I'm a big believer if you don't need elite strikers. I think you can find quality goal scoring late in the draft. But I also understand that that is definitely not a an accepted take because the elite goal scorers are obviously they they they're the consistent ones. So it's always a gamble if you take someone that's not one of the elite. Well, I think the the top names like Harland, older. Like, FM21, 22, Chiro were definitely worth just grabbing early. FM20, FM21, Ronaldo. Yeah, the, the actually elite strikers are great. But I think players like Lewandowski and Kane get grouped in with them when they're not. I think they're good. They're a bit more consistent than the ones you'll get in the later rounds. Like, you're, you're almost... You're a lot more likely to get your 10, but I think. Uh, I refer you back to Lewandowski at the Ducks. Scored one goal. Just saying. But I think, but Lewandowski's never been, never really been in and around the golden boot, right? He's consistently good. That's what Lewandowski gives you, is he gets you 10 to 15. And yeah, I think he's a good pick. I'm just, he's definitely a first round player. I'm just saying because of the safety he gives you, but he's not really going to be the... Be... Really? Oh, well. I'm basically Vince. What can I say? I'm basically Vince. I think having one elite centre mid on the old uh, on the old match engines, having one elite centre mid was super important. But again, I think it depends on what your what your team is trying to do. Right, different systems and formations need different things. I don't know. It's a newer match engine. We, This is our first season on it. Like, that, that brief period in FM21 where I was drafting good teams was because I was prioritising the best wingbacks. And I just played a system where having the best wingbacks was the most important thing. And then I kept doing it even when the match engine changed and it wasn't as good. And uh, I stopped being good. 
It's not necessarily research, it's just have a plan. Like, your team have done... Oh, your team were doing well. You've got games in hand as well, right? Like, you've got to take one win, push you up to seven. I think your team's been decent. I just, I think once you got Haaland, I think I maybe would have opted for a, a different plan rather than sit back and defend. Yeah, Rach is also true. There's a level of variance because you can have the best team, but the one season we watch could be one where you, you roll badly on variance and your team shits the bed. Yeah, I, I think I'd have gone like almost the, the exact opposite of what should, what you drafted, Renko. I'd have gone for a, a manager who wants to play, who wants to get the ball forward and just get the ball in and around the box as much as possible and rely on Haaland to get shit done. Uh, looks like Le Petigui's poor track record is set to continue. Yeah. My advice is have a plan. You can pick your first handful of players by who who are the best people available and then work out what the plan is for once you've got two or three players. The picture gimmick is fun. The picture gimmick is so fun. It doesn't help you draft good teams, though. It really doesn't. Because uh, we've just been discussing make sure you, you pick <laughs> players with a plan. And it, after, like, <laughs> it very quickly becomes, shit, think of two half-decent players that may be in a photo together. It's tr it's true. You you are in second, mate. Oh, lucky! He's done it! He's finally scored again! Even lucky couldn't miss that one. New Zealand's greatest ever footballer. So, Lucky is clearly New Zealand's greatest ever footballer, right? Is Jacob Jones second on that list? Or is there an IRL player who can contest Jacob Jones? Oh, shit. Yeah, I definitely forgot. No wonder. No wonder BBC won. Oh, no. Franca's league win's going to have an asterisk.
It is a wonder that I'm left in charge. <laughs> uh. Right, let's fix that now quickly. Uh, go to Duffy transfer. Yeah. Move to another player. So he should be at Shola, right? Okay. Oh, Nicky Butcher went to PSG. That's nice. Uh, do I have any to go back to the elves? No, not dead. Oh, Donna Saba to United. Oh, Nana went to PSG. Why is everyone one of their keepers? Did I miss one? Oh, that one happened ages ago. I caught that one. He didn't miss any time. Right. They're all correct now, right? I hope so. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Right. Right, uh, let's call it. Let's call it. It's been about an hour. Uh, let's do a kids round up. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Pedri. <coughs> 163. Kolosevsky, 150. Three goals, two assists for Kolosevsky. Good season for him, though. Kolosevsky, up zero on the side. Uh, Ansu Fati, 167. Crawford, 164. Toodaloo, Remco. The Emissary, 151. And five goals. Two assists. Nice, nice. Jonathan David, 140. Jacob Jones, 153. Josh Sargent, definitely not a centre mid. Just so we're, just so we're clear. Definitely not a centre mid.
Why are Manchester missing a player? That's my help. For fuck's sake. Who retired? Uh, Chiellini. Chiellini, 59. Big bump, big bump. Mikatarian Henrik something like that, isn't it? He's just gone. M K H I T This is gone. I wonder when that happened. I guess we'll never know. Uh, landmark? No. It must have. Didn't keep his history though, so we'll never find out. Uh, that's a good shout. He's, he's not there, so he's definitely gone, but... Jim... Why doesn't it tell you, like, top players? Oh, yeah, he's, he's just retired. Kind of, cr kind of crazy that they don't keep his uh, history. Oh. Oh, Mickey, not so fine. Uh, okay, here we go. On Yango, one eighty five. He's capped. That that he's only just become capped, right? He's not been one eighty five for all that long. It used to be 183, right? Dabs on 167. 167! Okay, earlier this season, fair enough. 167, uh, the Jackal 151, Ricky 149, Guillermo 145, Bushman 142, Pasolini 140, Ulysses 132, Take a Chance 130, 
Kaivoya, 124. Prince, 118. Fabio DeMarco, 117. Reino, 114. Nelly, 109. Zentner, 109. Nuno, 108. Timo, 106. Aparicio, 102. Can, 98. Boucher, 88. Samuel Gomes, 97. Fred, 83. Mart, 83. And now the geese is Amondi, 169. Natalie, 159. The Ass Man, 155. Elio, 149. Baby Pep, 146. Carl Saar, 145. Akraf Nasiri 138, Markau 131, Banal 131, Abdul 130, Gavin Murphy 120, Gregoire 118, Madeira 117, Gustavo 116, Carlos 111, Physio 102, Wellesley 96, Stephen Jones 88, Andre Raphael 88. Casemiro 105, Mustafa 102, Usher 94, and Ahmed 85. Little Greg, still no improvements on the year. Not been a good time. He's not even learnt to play wing back. That's the thing that's pissed me off. Like, what's he doing? Such a weird season. Oh, he's improved one. Good for him, I guess. As a general rule, though, some of my kids are absolutely killing it, right? In the improvement game. Ross Barkley, 139. Oh wait, no, they've got some right. Jeffrey one ninety one, Alexi one sixty one. Lucky who one sixty seven, Bellingham one sixty three. So Bellingham has the same number of sisters as Ross Barkley and a third of the goals. You tell me who's the real boy. Gatha, did, did we get everyone? Did I miss anyone? Dejan Kolosevsky only started seven games. Has more goals and more assists than Jude Bellingham. How's that you doing? Two and four. Fewer goal contributions than Ross Barkley. Right then, uh, guess I'll have you and leave you. Be good. Much love. And uh, I'll see you on the flip side. Toodaloo.